Anchors, Anchors up. up. Sales at full. full. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Sloopcast. How, How are you doing today, today Kyle? Kyle? Doing all right here, Jared. How are you doing today? You know, you know uh, uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't have anything to complain about. about. Uh, um, I'm not, I'm not a Cincy fan, fan but, but they're having some issues, issues as, as we record, record this. We're counter programming uh, the Cincinnati, Cincinnati playoff game, game as we record this, this which is idea. not not, not smart. smart. Not, not smart, smart. but, uh, but uh, we still have some people down in the chat, chat regardless. regardless. Um, just, just watch Empire State, State Building change the color of, of the exterior lights. lights. Change, change oh, just to change the color of their exterior lights. lights. That's, that's cool. cool. Um, um, first, first down, down field goal range. Yeah, let's let's do live commentary on the game that's over for all but everyone who's in here. Yeah, Kyle, we actually have a fun episode planned. We're, We're combining, combining two, two episodes, episodes from last year's Wasteland. Um, last, last year's Wasteland, we, one, designed a new schedule for the Big Ten using a protected rivalry system. Um, basically, each team gets three protected games, three protected Big Ten games, and all the other Big Ten games get cycled through. Uh, uh, this, this is, is in an, an effort, effort to, to, you know, you know play, play more, more teams, teams instead of just, you know, Ohio State, State plays Rutgers, Rutgers in Maryland every year. You know, you know what I mean? It's just, it sort of helps to mix up the Big Ten schedule a bit. And, and, and this, all, this also, maybe, maybe this goes without saying, uh, eliminates divisions, divisions right? right? Like, like no yes. divisions. I think, I, think that, I think that's the big thing. Get rid of divisions here because uh, if, if anything that what we've seen the past couple of years, um, really in a lot of the conferences too, not just the big 10, uh, especially this year or this past year. Um, yeah. Uh, divisions suck and they need to go away. Right. right. Now, now that, that being said, said the, other the other episode we're combining into this episode, episode is an episode we did last summer, summer uh, which was called the bit or the power, power to revisited. revisited. The, the power, power to revisited, revisited which, which was uh, us, Building, building on top of an episode from the previous summer, um, we, have we have lore, guys. We have deep, deep, deep lore, lore here at the Sloopcast. Um, basically, us pushing the theory that eventually there will only be two big program or two big conferences in college football. Essentially, the Big Ten and the SEC. There'll be a third conference that's around. They'll, they'll probably, probably pick, pick up the scraps, scraps and be okay. okay. But as far as they'll be like a power two, which is like I said, the big 10 and the sec. We see the PAC 12 die. We see the ACC die. We see the big 12 die and all that's really left in the ashes or from the ashes is the big 10 and the sec. So those are, those are two narratives we pushed last summer. It's time to combine those two things. And basically we're taking the big 10 that we designed by the, by the way, way, I'm going to link both of those episodes down, down in the show notes. We're, we're going to take those two episodes and we're going to combine them. And we're going to, Kyle, divine, uh, d design, divine, God, I think a lot of myself, don't I, decide uh, what the Big Ten schedule will look like in 2030. Or 2033. I haven't decided what I'm naming this yet. Chat, what's a... You do want to lead a cult. I, I do want to lead a cult someday. <laughs> but that that that's right. not so, that's that's that that's not that's not relevant to this episode. Uh guys, what, what episode chat, what episode do you like? What episode title do you prefer? The uh Big Ten, the, the you know, what what does the Big Ten look like in 2033 or 2030? I'd say twenty thirty. It's it's a it's a it's a nice even number. It is it is in fact an an even number, which thirty three is not. So, points, Kyle. Um, we like yeah. O's. We do like O's. Right, that so, oh, so that is a that is a good that is a good point, Gangland. All right, that settled it. So so those that's listening in uh, via a podcast, uh, we do have a a graphic up here. So if you want to check us out on YouTube, you can go ahead and uh check us out on YouTube to, to check out the graphics here. So what we have up here are what is currently um, 
actual rivals right now. Now, I already see one mistake here, Jared, and that would be is is Indiana technically a rival for Ohio State because they do play for a uh you mean Illinois? The, um, excuse me, Illinois. I'm sorry, Illinois, because they play for the Illibuck. Yeah, but they don't play every year. They used to, they don't anymore. Like everyone, so I don't do, think so anyone. Do some of these teams. So do some of these teams. Some, most of the teams I have on this. Okay. So first off, God, before we get into that debate, I pre-filled out some of these. Let's, let's let the audio people in on what are some of these ones I've already filled out. I filled out what I felt like were the most obvious ones. So Ohio state rivals with Michigan, duh. We'll, we'll find the other two during the course of this episode. Michigan, uh, I have Ohio State and Michigan State filled in. Uh, USC, I have UCLA, Notre Dame already filled in. For Penn State, I have Maryland filled in. Uh, for Wisconsin, I already have Minnesota filled in. For UCLA, I already have USC and Cal filled in. For Michigan State, I already have Michigan and Notre Dame filled in. Uh, if it's not obvious by now, I, I have also predicted Notre Dame into the Big Ten eventually. Um, Washington, a team I've predicted into the Big Ten, uh, will be rivals with Oregon, another team that I have predicted into the Big Ten. Um, Notre Dame's rivals are already filled out. Um, USC, Michigan State, and Purdue. Uh, Oregon with Washington, as we already mentioned in the inverse. Uh, Nebraska, I already have filled out Iowa and Minnesota. For Iowa, I already have filled out Nebraska and Minnesota. So that, that, is a, that is a point in time in which a pod system would work good. Um, Illinois, I already have... Uh, Northwestern and Purdue filled in Northwestern. I already have Illinois filled in Minnesota. I already have Minnesota is already full, by the way, Minnesota is one of these like trophy. They, they love their trophies in Minnesota, um, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Iowa filled in, uh, for Indiana. I already have Purdue filled in for Stanford. I already have Cal filled in for North Carolina. Oh, by the way, Stanford and North Carolina are in the Big Ten, according to this projection. Uh, for North Carolina, I have Duke and Virginia filled in. Uh, that is right. Virginia has also joined the Big Ten. Um, Purdue already filled out. Uh, Illinois, Indiana, Notre Dame. Uh, Maryland has Virginia and Penn State. Duke has North Carolina. Virginia has Maryland. And North Carolina, I have not filled in any for Rutgers yet. I was like, wait a minute. Did, did Rutgers, does Rutgers have any like actual rivals? Like back in the ACC at least. So I went and I, and I looked up their, their Wikipedia page and it, it, the only listed rivalry is Princeton. I guess we got to bring in Princeton, right? Uh, is Prince <laughs> Princeton's not? They're not FBS. Um, the last one, last one is Cal's rivals are UCLA and Stanford. All right, Kyle. So I filled in a bunch of them. These are all established rivalries. Kyle, I believe all of these teams play each other every year. I don't think there's an exception on the board, unless someone wants to point point it out. Maryland doesn't play Virginia. They used to. That 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 used to be a rivalry in the ACC. So granted, they don't currently play every year, but back in the ACC days, that rivalry has a nickname. I don't remember what it is. Um, and it goes back to like 1919. It's a very old rivalry that was disrupted, and they still schedule home and homes. In fact, I think they have a home and home coming up this year. Uh, so... Okay, there's the um, exception, Purdue but it used to be that Purdue way. Purdue does not play Notre Dame every year. Do they not? No. Are you sure? 100%. When's the last time Purdue's played played uh, Notre Dame? They used to. Yeah, they used to. You want to know the last time that they played? When was it? I'll, I'll tell you when I get there. I'm at, I'm at um, 2017, and they still haven't played them. 
It used to be a thing before the AC. Well, you'll probably have to go back to before the ACC scheduling deal. Cause that's probably when it ended. Cause that's when they also dropped the Michigan rivalry. Cause Notre Dame used to play Michigan every year as well. So my, it's my assumption that it's when they signed the scheduling thing with the ACC. Did Kyle just say 2017 like it was a long time ago? Um, I hate to break it to you, Esquire. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, they did play in 2021. I missed that. Um, but before 2021, it was 2014. Which I believe is about the time the ACC scheduling thing went in with the mm. with Notre Dame. So, yeah, that 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 disrupted a few things. But it used to be. It used to be a, a yearly rivalry. All right. Um, I don't know. If you want to remove the Notre Dame Purdue setup, then I'm willing to hear it, Kyle. Um it's it's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll keep it. All right. All okay. Right, let's we, we gotta jump right into this here. So let's start with Ohio State. Michigan, obvious one. So my two here, Jared. Okay. I, w- I would like, I would like Ohio State's other two to be uh, from the, the new groups, the new, the new kids on the block here. Okay. I have the Trojans. Okay. And I have the Tar Heels. Really. The Tar Heels. Mm-hmm. That feels yes. way out of left field. I was thinking the other two for Ohio State would be Penn State and USC. So we do agree yeah, on USC. Austin's got it. Austin's got it. <laughs> he wants the Tar Heels for selfish reasons. Oh yeah, that's right. Kyle Kyle lives down there. No, Kyle, I'm I'm going to I'm going to veto that. I don't know. Let's right. ask the chat. Penn State I, or I, or or UNC. I think I think USC USC makes sense. USC to me makes sense. We both did that. Uh, yeah, right, right there, right there. What Austin just said. I think, I think uh, Illinois would have been my other choice. So we have a vote for Illinois, I guess. Uh, NC State. NC State's not in the big. Is not in the Big Ten now or ever. Um, can't give OSU three killer opponents auto every year when other schools get layups. So we're talking. Let's, let's do Illinois. Let's do Illinois, Jared. Let's do USC. And All Illinois. right. All right. I I disagree, but I I've been outvoted. I think Illinois is now filled. By the way. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's I, fine. I, I'm just yeah. I'm just. It's just a surprise is all. And we're putting. We just want. To, that, that's USC as well. All right. All right. So moving on, moving on to Michigan here, Michigan, Ohio State and Sparty. The the third one, Jared. This is Austin says this is a fun activity, by the way. Kudos to you. Thanks. This one, I'm just I'm just I I feel like you can go a lot of directions, but kind of like with me, with UNC kind of going out of left field here. I'm going to I'm going to go out right field here, Jared, and I'm going to go with uh, Stanford. Are you saying, are, are we talking about the last Michigan spot? Yes. Stanford is interesting. Um, now, if you, if you choose Penn state, you're, you're doing like the, it's the same argument uh, that somebody made about getting th- three killer uh, opponents. Yeah. Um, Kyle, Rutgers. I don't. <laughs> Rutger, <laughs> Rutgers. <laughs> I, I don't know if I uh, disagree with you, Kyle. Um, it is left field. I'll give you that. See, pro- part of the problem is Notre Dame, uh, like Purdue, used to have a yearly rivalry with Notre Dame, but Notre Dame's card is already filled. Uh, Notre, uh, They do have a trophy game. I don't know if you call it a rivalry, but they do have a trophy game with Minnesota, but I already have Minnesota's card filled. Um, so Minnesota, a lot of... It seems like about every game they play is for a trophy. Minnesota, yeah, Absolutely. 
Michigan's also pretty yeah. bad right, or yep, good so at that. So yeah, yeah this this is there. this is just a that's a fun little oops. Mm. That's a fun little uh all right. Left field so you, selection. So so Michigan is Ohio State, Sparty, and Stanford. Uh USC is already fill in with UCLA, Notre Dame, and Ohio State. Uh, Penn State. So Hold I on. Have Austin already- says Michigan and Stanford feels like two frat bros who sit outside the house only yelling hot chicks and the bros, <laughs> but they're actually, <laughs> but they're actually mad. They can't be inside the party. It's a good fit. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like it. All right. Penn State here. Uh, I got Maryland as yeah. their one rival. The other one here, I think it makes sense. Uh, to me, and that would be Rutgers. I put Rutgers there. We have to give we have to give Penn State someone tough to play. Uh, the uh, well, I guess, I guess that's not going to work. How I had the third, <laughs> the, third not, the third one I had was um, was no, Virginia. I said someone tough, Austin. It was Virginia. Um, yeah. You're Virginia you're almost just either. you're almost just handing them over to like all the classic ACC opponents at that point. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, we we could Michigan State has a spot open. I, the the other the other one too. I think two other ones you could potentially put. Uh, I think I think Rutgers to me makes sense. And for that for the third third one. Uh, yeah, I agree, uh, Zach. Maybe UCLA or Austin says UNC instead of Virginia. Yeah, I, I, potentially there, yeah. So we can do UCLA, who still has a spot open. We're trying to bring some of these West Coast teams into the Big Ten a bit, so we're trying to mix this up. Yep, yep. And then... North Carolina, this will be North Carolina's last spot for what it's worth. So yeah. North Carolina's card is now filled. Oh, you're not even doing Rutgers at all. <laughs> uh, Rutgers is going to be. Uh, we'll Rutgers figure it out. Gonna have the, Rutgers is going to have the toughest schedule. I can, I can see it already here. Because they're Rutgers. Um, we want they PSU want and Oregon. In Oregon? Penn State and Oregon. <laughs> um, that would so I'm taking UCLA off the list to do that, guys. The, I'm listening to the chat. We're gonna let the chat have a voice in this. I'm just letting you know I'm taking UCLA off the list to do that. Yeah? Sure. Sure. Okay. So we'll put UCLA back. Um just we're putting that down there. this down yep. here. We're moving this up here. And UCLA's card is no longer filled. No, you take out UNC. No, I'm not. I'm not sending Penn State West for both of their rivals. I'm not doing that. All right. All right. So Penn State's now is Maryland, Oregon, and UNC. All right. Wisconsin here, Jared. Minnesota is their one rival here. The other two I have, um, I have them. I have Iowa. And okay. I, I, have- I like that. And I have Oregon. Um, well, you can't do you can't do uh, USC because USC already has their their yeah USC is full UCLA Notre Dame and Ohio State. Um, the third yeah the third one I on my list I had Oregon. How would you feel about Nebraska or Washington? Uh, some W's. Some Washington, w, Washington, Wisconsin. It's a W. It it feels built in. Washington. Who do I have? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have an issue with Washington either. We're 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 trying to mix them up. We don't we don't want the Pac-12 teams just playing the Pac-12 teams and just the Big Ten teams playing yeah. the Big Ten teams. So we're trying That's to correct. mix things up here. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Austin yeah. likes your hat. <laughs> thank you. All right, so All Wisconsin's right. done. Minnesota, Iowa, and Washington. Uh, UCLA, UCLA, USC, and Cal. Uh, the third one I have for UCLA. 
going to sound bad, but it was because I was running out of uh, <laughs> out of teams here. But we already have them filled in with Ohio State um, as their third one there. But I originally had Illinois. <laughs> but, okay. But, yeah, but you don't feel great had, about I had, it. I had, a, I had a tough one. I had a tough one to figure that out. Um, I think I think we need to I think we need to go big. What about here? Or, what about what what about Duke? Duke and UCLA. No, I got, I got, I got plans for Duke here. I got plans for Duke. <laughs> okay, UC, uh, per, UCLA. Um, someone said Purdue. Purdue's already filled. Yeah. Uh, who who do I have for that? Um, since I don't have that. How about UCLA Indiana Rutgers? top? UCLA Hold on. and Rutgers. Austin says, "How about Indiana top basketball schools?" Yeah, maybe. At one point, Jared. At one point, I, I I agree with this one, but at one point, we we need Rutgers is good. Somebody's going to have to play Rutgers. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be UCLA though. Um, all right, uh, I, I, I'm I'm. Indiana? I'm with Indiana. Okay. Yep. I'm All right. with Indiana. Kyle has plans for Duke, and he is our North Carolina correspondent. So I might just have to trust him on that. All right. Um, Michigan. So UCLA now, USC, Cal, and Indiana. All right. Sparty has Michigan and Notre Dame. Those so are two Sparty. big opponents. Can we throw them an easy one and 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 take up one of those Rutgers spots? Um, what did I had? I originally had Maryland, but I think, I think we need, I think we need to spread the load here and man. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you want to put Rutgers there. I, almost I want do want to, Rutgers I do there. want to put Rutgers there. In fact, I said that. Are we doing it? All right. All right. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Oh, I got plans for Northwestern too. I got plans for Northwestern <laughs> and Duke. <laughs> All right. So Sparty's Sparty's filled up with Michigan, Notre Dame, and Rutgers. On to Washington. Washington has Oregon, uh, Wisconsin. The third one I had originally was Indiana. Um but with but with um, UCLA playing Indiana now, I think I think we need to change. I think we need to change that up now. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we already have Indiana going out west for one of theirs. Um, Washington, 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 Washington. What about Duke? No, not Duke. Nope. Okay. <laughs> not Duke. Northwestern. Not Duke. It's a, that's a very nope, purple North, matchup. Nope, nope, not Northwestern. North, I got, yeah, I got, a, I got a good plan with. Um, hold on, uh, yeah, I got, I got a good plan with Northwestern. So, no Northwestern. Uh, who, who's left here? Uh, Rutgers, Maryland. Uh, Northwestern <laughs> play Washington because Washington is Northwestern. <laughs> How about, how about because how Washington about, how about, actually is Northwestern? How about, Austin says, how about, I've got plans for Northwestern football. No one ever. <laughs> Washington and Virginia. I like that. I like that. Washington and Virginia. Now it sucks to travel. <laughs> the traveling is going to suck, but. <laughs> You know what? We're we're just going to get it out of the way. Um, okay. Wrapped up here. Washington has Oregon, Wisconsin, and Virginia. We're just going to skip down, Jared. We're going to go to Northwestern real quick. We're going to uh, Northwestern <laughs> just to get this one knocked out. This is so, Kyle's podcast now. Fuck yeah, it is. Uh, Illinois, <laughs> Duke, and Stanford. Okay. Okay. So dork, dork. Wow. Duke and Northwestern. <laughs> which is the, which is now the dork bowl apparently yes it is the dork bowl that that's a hundred percent makes sense so when you said i have plans for duke and i have and plans for northwestern that that pairing makes a hundred percent sense i will give you that and northwestern and stanford makes a lot of sense too 
It does. You, okay, Kyle, I, I said you needed to justify having plans for Northwestern, and I have to I have to hand it to you. You did. You, you did have really good plans for Northwestern. I, I will give Thanks. you that. Now, now we can leave Northwestern out of it. <laughs> All right, let, or, or, let's get back on track here. So Notre Dame, Notre Dame's already filled in with U, USC, Sparty, and Purdue. Yeah. Oregon, we got to find one for Oregon. Oregon has Wisconsin, oh, excuse me, Wisconsin. Too many W's here. Washington and Penn State. Kyle, originally, there are two I W's. Had, there are two W's. Originally, I had Wisconsin, but uh, I but we already got Wisconsin's filled up here. So, who else can Oregon play here? Um, maybe the, Maryland. The the two um, um, Oregon's got Oregon's got the. Uh, the Ducks uh, versus the Turtles. And, Mar- and Maryland's got... Um, <laughs> Under Armour. <laughs> Under Armour? How about that? Yeah. The Apparel Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nike versus Under Armour. Let's see. We we do need some partners for Rutgers still. Um, we do need... Okay, Maryland, like you said, is all out there. We could keep them west then place them together with Cal. Um, yeah. um let's see what's, Duke, what's wrong with Maryland nothing just just talking over options um okay. Maryland and Oregon have to be color on color all times no exceptions <laughs> yes there'd be well neither of them can wear yellow though and I know their yellows are very different yellows but it would be Ugh. so Christmassy very. All right. So Oregon's here, Washington, Penn State, and Maryland. I like that. I like that a lot. Nebraska. Or they both Iowa- wear different shades of yellow. That would be disgusting. That would be one of the worst looking games I've ever seen in my life. And then throw, yeah. All right. Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. Uh, the third one originally I had was Wisconsin, but. Which wouldn't have been a maybe, bad maybe, matchup for what it's worth. It, it, maybe, maybe this is where, um, hmm. Maybe, maybe we throw in Cal. Maybe Cal. I don't, I, I don't hate that. I was, I was wanting to send them west, and we mm-hmm. are running out of options to do that. I um, think that is the last option. Is it the last option? It is the last option to go. Yeah, out Stanford's west. filled. USC, UCLA are filled. Oregon's filled. Oregon, Washington. Yep, that's your last oh, yeah. opportunity. Yeah, and I and I don't know why, but I do want to send Nebraska out west. Yep. All right. So Nebraska is Iowa, Minnesota, and Cal. Iowa is already filled in with Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Illinois filled in with Northwestern, Purdue, and Ohio State. Northwestern uh, filled in with Illinois, Duke, and Stanford. Minnesota has Wisconsin, Nebraska, Iowa. Indiana has Purdue and UCLA. Um, Rutgers. Indiana and Rutgers, Jared. Out of desperation of running out of matchups? Mm -hmm. And yes, Austin, I was getting there too. The last one for Rutgers here, Jared, as soon as you move that there. Rutgers plays Duke. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why that makes sense, but it makes sense. There, we, we solved our Rutgers um, crisis here. So, <laughs> it was that the last one? And are we done? I think, I think we're done. I think we filled in every one here. So Indiana has Purdue, Rutgers, UCLA. Stanford has Cal, Michigan, Northwestern. UNC has Duke, Virginia, and Penn State. Purdue has Illinois, Indiana, Notre Dame. Maryland has Virginia, Penn State, and Oregon. Duke has UNC, Northwestern, and Rutgers. Virginia has Maryland, UNC, Washington. Rutgers has uh, Michigan State, Indiana, Duke, and then Cal has UCLA, Stanford, and Nebraska. Austin said Nebraska and Cal. The we used to be good bowl. Cal was never good. He used to be good. Yeah. No, Cal was never good. Don't, 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 don't believe the lie. 
they were a basketball school and nothing, nothing more. Um, now let's extend, <laughs> extend the Big Ten to 32 teams. Uh, yeah, let's throw Colorado, the two That's Arizonas, or but maybe those, just those one of the Arizonas. With, uh, with UCLA. I originally had UCLA playing Illinois, and that was a, <laughs> my mind was, oh, we used to be good um, at one point. <laughs> was Illinois ever good? They were good for like a couple of years, but that was it. If you really wanted to do something like that, you'd have to match them up with Minnesota, who used to be a juggernaut back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean literally 90 years ago. Yeah. They beat us a couple times, Juice Williams. Yeah, I know, but I know. But that's that's like saying Purdue used to be good because they beat us once. Since he touched down, apparently. Um, yeah. right, now, Kyle, or Kyle or anyone else in the chat... Did we make a mistake here? Could we fix this? Before we before we before we send this off to the Big Ten office as a part of my um because I, I'm going to I'm going to submit myself for the uh because the commissionership is now open. Um I'm gonna submit myself as the uh as, as a uh you know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a resume in. And I'm gonna say, hey. I'm going to put fill in the application and say I should be the new Big Ten commissioner. Remove Virginia. <laughs> Remove Virginia. In exchange for. I mean, we're not doing it. We, we, we already locked in the team predictions. In exchange for who? Bulldoggy style. The wolf pack. We'll see what he says. <laughs> we'll see. What, uh, they're, they're not academically up to snuff. In exchange for Bishop Sycamore, uh, that's a high school. Thank you very much. A totally legit and absolutely real high school. <laughs> All right, guys, are, are we good? Are we good? Any any mistakes? Anything we don't like here? Several people typing. Kyle, we have several people typing in the chat. Oh, we have boy. to see where this goes. Well, that one's a who day. Okay. Um, <laughs> so real that Austin is playing center this fall for Bishop Sycamore. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how that goes for Austin. Uh, we got two more people. I uh, feel like it shouldn't be allowed for a team to have all of the old Big Ten teams in their pod if they... Uh, we're also in the Big Ten. <laughs> um, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I Iowa is all well, but Nebraska. Couple. But Nebraska. Nebraska we're we're already counting Nebraska as a like they haven't been a Big Ten team all that long. Although it, it does that that is like the most fitting addition the Big Ten ever did. Like Nebraska just instantly felt like part of the Big Ten. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying, but like Nebraska and Iowa established rival like those those are all pretty established rivalries. Uh maybe not so much Iowa and uh Iowa and Wisconsin. Uh I don't remember anyone complaining about adding Nebraska. Yeah, no, it, it felt it felt like a totally it was the most fitting addition that that could have happened. In my in my head canon, Nebraska was in the Big Ten since the early eighties. Longer. I can't remember a time they weren't in the Big Ten. They've been in the Big Ten longer than Penn State. <laughs> They've been in the Big Ten longer than Wisconsin. Maybe they joined at the same time as Wisconsin. Nebraska was one of the founding members along with the University of Chicago. Let's just keep pushing it. Let's just keep pushing it back. Um, right, well, no, one, no, no, one's, no one's complaining, so we, we did it right, Jared. We did it right. All right, th this, is, this is it. This is, this, this is the 2030 scheduling system. Are Iowa and Illinois the only schools that qualify that way? Um. I would move those two around personally. So Illinois 
plays all Big Ten schools. Uh, we couldn't. T- the thing is, we couldn't touch two of those because the Northwestern Purdue are pretty established, and with with so we would essentially in order to fix that. We'd have to move a lot of things around, Jerry. We'd have to move a lot of things around because, like, you could take out the Wisconsin game. But, like, even if we, like, just swapped them around, well, they we're just swapping other Big Ten teams for other Big Ten teams. Not nah, just switch Virginia and Washington. Um, let's just switch Virginia and Washington. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, I I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but no, I'm not doing it. I I appreciate your input, though. Uh, Boo. Yeah. Uh, Feels like since their protected games are Big Ten, they would get more pack slash ACC guys in rotation. Yeah. I mean, we obviously aren't getting into how the rotational thing works. Okay, here come the boos. Here come the boos. So it evens out. Yeah, probably. I would say so. And by the way, like you fast forward to 2040 and it, we're going to be talking about these guys like we were talking about Nebraska, where it just felt like they've always been in here. Maryland feels already super at home. Rutgers is Rutgers. <laughs> <laughs> 40 team conference. I, I think it's, I, I really think it stops. I shouldn't say that. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't know that it's true. You have universities like Colorado and Arizona sort of hanging out there. But yeah, anyway, this is it. This is the schedule. Um, if you don't like it, then I guess you can boo and throw tomatoes at me like gangland and Austin are currently doing. How about not- Clemson? No. Um, at least Clemson. At least all of these schools, all the schools that we've added on, has at least some type of um. Uh, these are all academics. These are all AAC schools, with the exception of Notre Dame and Nebraska, who was a AAC school when they joined. Yada yada yada. You guys heard that before. Um, but every other team. Every team we added to the Big Ten, with the exception of Notre Dame, is an AAC school, which has long, long been the standard for joining the Big Ten. And also, like, everyone just knows that these, that, that doesn't apply to Notre Dame. Georgia hey, Tech would, Georgia excuse Tech, me, AAU, thank you. Thank you, Spikes. We did, we did talk about Georgia Tech um, in, in our episode before, too. Yeah, if you go, if you go back to our uh power to revisited we we talked a lot about the possibility of georgia tech being added to the big 10 i think that's a very real possibility um honestly if you take a look at all the teams i added virginia is not even the one i feel worst about if you force me to remove a team from this it would be stanford that's the team I feel the least confident about in this 24 team projection is Stanford. That that's that that's the worst one to me. That's that's that is my weakest prediction. Um I think Arizona, Georgia Tech, Colorado um are uh, among teams who could be there instead. Where else are they going? SEC. Yeah. I think the SEC would absolutely love to have Georgia Tech. It just, for whatever reason, like the SEC has like made Atlanta their home base. And the only major university there is Georgia Tech. It would be a kind of a, it would be kind of a gut punch. It'd be kind of be kind of a territorial grab of the big 10 to go in there and take Atlanta. It'd be be general Sherman all over again. It would be general Sherman all over again. If Georgia tech joined the big 10 and I don't think the sec would let it happen. Yep. Yep. All right, Jared, I think we're, I think we're going to put our stamp of approval here. We're going to save this. 
then when this does happen, we will be uh, we'll be letting the Big Ten know uh, that we'll be waiting for our checks. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, we we will sue them. We will sue them. Um, and the Big Ten, uh, the uh, the cha- the chancellors and the presidents of the universities. The way you can avoid this future lawsuit, just hire me. To, just hire me. That's it. Unless I don't even have to be. I don't even have to be the conference commissioner. I, I will be um, the deputy conference commissioner, the assistant conference commissioner. I, I will gladly take those roles if you already have someone lined up. Um, and hired me to be his assistant, please. I'm begging. I need a job. I'll be an assistant to the assistant. I'll, well, I'll, I'll need a secretary of some sort, Austin. So I, I got you. I got you. Yep. I'm organized. There's no chance that's true. Austin, there's zero chance that's true. It is. All right. I'll be the company All right. doctor. All right. All right. Dude. That's it. That's that's the end of the episode. Um, hey, does anyone have any home life? LOL. Okay, actually, Austin, that's true. Professional, yes. Home life, no. I okay. We're we're back in sync on that one. Um, anyone have a music request? I don't. I don't. I forgot to line up a band. Um, any Ohio bands? Oh, we got some people typing. Takas. That's that's not a play that folk band. I just played Mother Folk last. I just played Mother Folk last week. Um. No, not them. Um, the other one. Really? You played years ago. It's been a while. <laughs> wow. I You realize how many folk bands I've played on here? <laughs> Play my home screaming in pain. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. Um, Kyle, what's in Kyle's corner? Uh, I just saw this come in. Uh, and I thought it's amazing. Uh, so the players who've been selected to the Senior Bowl are doing their measurements right now. Dwan Jones, you know, big guy. Uh, I forget how tall he really is. Uh, big guy, big guy. I think he's like six eight. Yeah, he's six eight, dude. Six eight. Wingspan, Jared, eighty nine and a half inches in his wingspan, which is. Wow. Equivalent to someone who's seven feet, five inches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's insane. That's actually insane. Hold on, hold on. I'm, go- I'm going to take a screenshot real quick here, Jared. Uh, copy, and I'm putting this into the live chat just so you can so you can see. Look at that wingspan there. <laughs> actually insane. Actually, actually properly, properly insane. insane. That's a that's a man right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, if anyone who's listening doesn't, doesn't know, know the, the average person, person roughly speaking, speaking your, your your wingspan, wingspan index, index finger to index finger, finger is, is roughly, roughly your, your height. height. That's, that's how it it, it, it normally is pretty close to your height. Um, One of the things things that makes football players football players, players, especially on the line, offensive and defensive, is if they they have disproportionately disproportionately long arms. He's he's bigger in person, person too. Your Your wingspan wingspan is is 6'1". Yeah. You don't, you don't give, give 6-1 energy, energy sun card. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, all right. That's, that's it. it. Uh, that, that, is that is the end, end of the show. show. Um, <laughs> man, that was, that was a lot meaner, meaner than apparently I thought it was. It was. By the way, everyone's reacting. reacting. Uh, uh, I'm not 6-1 either, either for, for what it's worth. worth. All right. Tonight's ending music, a uh, band out of Athens. Uh, they are called the Crooked Spines. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are the Crooked Spines.